Hi, I'm here to talk to you about RealityWorks award-winning ECG simulator. We saw a need in the market for a hands-on simulator to help students with lead placement and accurately reading rhythms. The simulator can be used in common classes like EMT, paramedic, and nursing. The ECG simulator teaches accurate placement of ECG or EKG leads on the body, as well as how to read standard basic rhythms, recognize commonly read errors, and how to mitigate them. So while it comes with the simulator, we have the ECG simulator here, okay? We have a power switch in the lower corner. We have a cord that will run from the simulator to a tablet. The simulator will come with three lead, four lead, five lead, and 12 lead ECG electrode sets. We will also supply the actual electrode pads as well. It will come with 20 student workbooks, a basic ECG rhythm flashcard set that includes the actual rhythm and with the interpretation written on the back. It will include a storage case, a one year limited warranty and access to our online curriculum. So the features is that this teaches accurate ECG EKG leads on the body through rib palpation. On the model, you can actually feel the ribs and students will be able to palpate the ribs in order to locate proper placement. They'll learn how to read three, four, five and 12 lead EKGs and how to recognize these rhythms on a screen and on hard copy. The software provides individual practice and assessment opportunities on rhythm reading and lead placement. The curriculum addresses methods for mitigating commonly read errors. Students can use the ECG simulator for domains two and three of the certified ECG technician exams. So let's take a look. On the tablet, you'll see that there are two main modes, practice and assessment. Practice allows students to improve their ECG skills and help them understand different lead setups. In the assessment mode, the mode allows students to assess their knowledge and show their skills to their instructor. By selecting one mode, you'll see that the choices of three lead, four lead, five lead, and 12 lead ECG comes up have students select the one that they will be practicing on. So now I'm gonna demonstrate how to do a three lead ECG. First of all, I'm gonna click on the practice mode on the tablet and select a three lead ECG. At this point, there'll be just a picture of basically the uh, anatomy coming up. It will tell me where to place the leads. Like I said, this is in practice mode. So I would look at the model, place my tabs. And I'll take my three lead ECG. Plug it in. And I always tell my students to start with white on right. As I click on these and I, or I attach them, it will turn green on the screen if I have it correct, or it'll be red for incorrect. So left arm is black. Red. And then I'll have the correct setup. So all the uh, leads should be green at this point if I have it correct on the simulator. After students have correctly placed the three lead ECGs on the mannequin, they can progress to looking at rhythms in the sequence, which is basically atrial and ventricular, things like that, or randomized sequence. This will help them identify rhythms. And by clicking on the description, they can learn about the rhythms as well. To change to a different rhythm, they can select any of them or click next. Now I'll show you how to do a five lead ECG. First, you'll want to select the practice mode on the tablet and select the five lead ECG. 
on the tablet is the anatomical model showing where the electrodes should be placed. Take the pads and place them according to the diagram. So in five lead, there is the right and left upper extremity. The right and left lower extremity. And for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm going to place them here. And then V1, which is the fourth intercostal space down. And on the right sternal border. Take your five lead electrodes, plug them into the simulator. And a helpful hint if you are having the mannequin lie on a table is to spread these out. So to untangle the electrodes. Like I said I always start with white on the right. And these are also labeled with um, like RA for right arm, LL left leg. And one saying that um, I sometimes use with students is that clouds, the white clouds go over green grass, black smoke over red fire, and chocolate is close to your heart. So um, if you set it up correctly, then the tablet should look like this. Note that all the areas are in green and you're given the choice between sequential and random rhythms. Once again, you can go and click and the rhythms will appear for practice. It should be also noted that there is a red and green light on the simulator that will also guide you in placement as well. If one of the electrodes is not placed correctly, it will be red. If they are all placed correctly, it will be green. Now I'm going to show you how to do a 12 lead ECG. First of all, select practice on the tablet and then select 12 lead ECG. The anatomical model will come up showing you where to place the electrodes on the simulator. The electrodes will be placed on the right arm, right leg, left arm, left leg. V1 is located at the fourth intercostal space down on the right sternal border. V2 is located the fourth intercostal spot on the left sternal border. Then the easiest thing to do is to basically jump over V3 and look at V4, which is in the fifth intercostal space down with the mid clavicular line. V3 will be in the middle of V2 and V4. V5 is located on the anterior axillary line. And then the last one, V6, is on the mid axillary line. These are both in the fifth intercostal space. You will take your 12 lead ECG and connect it to the simulator. Now, like I said before, if the mannequin is laying down, it's far easier to sort these out so they are not twisted. The one labeled RA, right arm, will be the white. Green is going to go on the bottom. And I'm just going to look at my cords here and place them accordingly. And then I'll have the correct setup. So all the uh, leads should be green at this point, if I have it correct, on the simulator. These are the 12 lead ECG rhythms, including descriptions. Students may navigate this in sequence or randomly by selecting the previous and next buttons. So now let's talk about the curriculum that's included with the ECG simulator. The ECG simulator comes with a curriculum that is about two to three hours and includes presentation slides, student activities, as well as pre and post assessments. The curriculum contains a basic EKG placement, measurement of ECG strips, 
as well as atrial arrhythmias, ventricular arrhythmias, and conduction block arrhythmias. All the activities will be in the workbook, as well as the utilization of the flashcards. As you can see how this fits together, the students are using the lessons for foundational knowledge. Then they're gonna use the workbooks to apply knowledge that they have learned, use flashcards to identify rhythms, and then using the simulator in practice and assessment modes. The great thing about the practice is that they will get feedback. And the great thing about assessment is that they can test their knowledge. If you have any questions or would like to receive additional information, please use the information on the screen and we'd be happy to help you.